Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Todd, sum, your, sum up your feelings after the end of that match. Yeah, I mean, uh, had a little bit of everything tonight. Um, you know, we're fortunate to come out winners. Although, um, it would have been a lot nicer to have a 4-1 lead than a 4-3. Uh, we, have, we have tomorrow going in. I think we came out and stuck to the systems exactly, and we had that Dundee team on the run. Um, then a few guys lost a little bit of discipline, and uh, we got mired up in, in things that we shouldn't have. And, uh, and guys know that. Um, but uh, I, thought, I thought Dundee played well to fight back uh, and, and come back into that game. It shows that they wanted as well, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty interesting match tomorrow. Uh, obviously, taking a win in, into tomorrow, what are you expecting from the match tomorrow? I think much the same. Um, but I addressed the guys and I told them that um, it's going to be the team that wants it more. We're matched up well. Uh, our games are tight all the time, um, and, and we got to realize that we're 60 minutes away from booking a place uh, into the Nottingham final. And uh, if they bring it tomorrow and win three periods of hockey. Um, They'll have it. Uh, can I take us through the game period by period? Yeah, well, just like I mentioned there, first period, um, we had them on the run. Uh, second period, um, got caught up in a little bit of penalty trouble and uh, and guys were, were getting frustrated. And I tried to explain to these guys that uh, an aggregate game is, is a long and sometimes you got to eat a little bit of garbage from the other team. But you have to do that. If you want to advance, you have to take that stuff on the chin. You can't take it personal. You can't get involved in it and it's out of their control uh, you have to look the other way and um, and, and and that's uh, you know that's how winners are decided um, like I said the second period there that's that's where we ran into our trouble and then same thing in the third uh, that gave Dundee a little bit of life and, and they were fighting back and for us uh, disappointing for us to take a pit, uh, penalty in the last two minutes of a hockey game especially when um, we had that lead um, and an unnecessary one at that um, but uh, we won the hockey game, um, so that's good. Uh, when we were 4-1 four, four, one up, did you expect us to kind of keep going and to keep keep that lead intact? It would have been nice, um, but um, like I said, uh, sometimes the ebb and flow. Um, uh, there was a few guys that um, maybe, um, you, you know, like I'm not questioning their desire and their want for it because they do want it. I know these guys and I, I know these guys well. Um, but uh, some of the guys are feeling a little bit of pressure and their pressure came out and maybe a bit of frustration and um, that comes with maturity. Um, you know, these guys will learn that, um, you know, th there's a fine line between winning and losing a, a two game series like this. And it's the little things that can, can win it for you or cost, cost it for you. But, um, you know, these guys get rested, get out there tomorrow and um, if we get a similar performance and, and, and uh, tighten up on our... Uh, uh, discipline, um, you know, the guy should come out and uh, be successful. Uh, someone that's been terrific for the club all season, Kevin Regan, um, this this game in particular as well, obviously with these penalty shot save as well in the first period. Yeah, big penalty shot save with big three on one save. I think that uh, Regan definitely kept us in that first period and, and allowed the guys to, to, to generate that offense. Um, and then we put him right, right under the gun uh, because we killed for for big swaths of that game um but he, but he stood tall and uh, a couple of those pucks go in the net but uh, that's hockey and um and and like i'd mentioned it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a pretty good game tomorrow can you explain just how important it was to have gone to dundee a few weeks ago and got that that win with with you going there tomorrow night oh, i think any psychological edge you can can grab at this point is huge i think it's important that um the boys know they can win in that building. Um, they, they know it's not going to be easy, but uh, that's uh, that's the way it is. Uh, Dundee didn't uh, win the division for no reason, uh, and they had a f healthy lineup tonight. Um, and we knew it was going to tough. They seemed to find their groove after a while. I think they've been rolling short for so long that they weren't used to that many bodies. Um, but uh, they brought it, and um, they're going to do much more of the same tomorrow. But uh, if we get uh, that. Uh, um, hard tongue line rolling like they were, uh, you know what I mean? Like, and I think like, we use a guy as an example is that Chaumont, you know, like he's, he's taken a hard time this year, but that guy's was the definite shining light. Uh, the guy who wanted to get us to Nottingham uh, last year. And I seen a lot of it tonight. The competitor in her came out, 
scored two big goals, got an assist, and uh, could have got a couple more. Uh, killed a few big penalties for us, something that I haven't used him that much on this year, but you could see he had that fire in his eyes, and uh, he was he was leading by example out there tonight. Um, so we get out there uh, tomorrow. Uh, the boys, like you said, had won in that building. Hope they just stay in their routines and, and, uh, and treat it as, uh, you know, another game and, and come out and win the game. And a Premier Sports game as well, which, you know, has, has helped the Flyers in the past. Certainly. I mean, there's always a heightened atmosphere when, it, when they know it's on TV and it's, you know, obviously going to be another sellout tomorrow. So that's all uh, adds to the, to the mix and the in the game but um, you know just hopefully the guys like don't get too involved in all that they just keep their uh, eye uh, you know their on their thoughts on the task at hand and uh, they go out and do the business. Thanks, yeah, thank you.